Things are getting wild in Israel. My name is India and today we're going to see how these guys are dealing with the COVID-19 crisis. Humans aren't the only ones dealing with big changes right now. Animals across the globe are facing the pandemic with us, even in Israel. Israel is home to the largest collection of animals in the Middle East. And those animals live here at the Safari Zoological Center. There are 1,600 animals here, from elephants, monkeys, to tigers. Many of them walk around freely just like they do in the wild. Normally, you can come here on a safari in your own car. The animals might even come to say hello. But since Israel went into lockdown to prevent the spread of COVID-19, the animals have had huge changes in their routines. There are no visitors for them. This has a major impact on the animals. Israel's very own wildlife rehabilitator, Sophie, sees this firsthand. Some of the animals really miss the visitors. Like the giraffes. Other animals do enjoy the peace and quiet, but we are doing our best to keep all the animals engaged. That is why keepers are even trying new games with them. You might be thinking, this is just another zoo, but the Safari Center's mission is to preserve wildlife. That's why they have a hospital for wild animals who don't normally have access to healthcare. Each year, 6,000 animals that need help come here. That is a lot of patients. They even have breeding programs for endangered species in hopes of saving an entire species from disappearing. In Israel, they're dedicated to preserving wildlife. When people come here, they learn about how precious our planet is. So until people come back, these heroes dedicated to wildlife conservation will continue to give these animals the love they deserve. When returning back to normal life, whatever that may look like, it will take some adjusting for the animals just like it will for us. But until then, we, we will care for our own small world. world. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah.